here on any device and have your voice heard live during our fights. Go to ESPN.HearMeCheer.com to participate. Bernardo Osuna alongside Timothy Bradley coming to you live from the MGM Grand Bubble in Las Vegas, Nevada. Mark Kriegel is also a part of this broadcast. And Tim, your expectations for a fighter who got the call on Monday, took the fight on Tuesday, was on the beach in Cancun, not because he was on vacation, Ruiz, but because yeah. he's from Cancun. But what do you expect from this kid? You know, if he's in a gym active, you know, right now you can see him retreating. So he's being smart. He does have some experience, but I don't expect much, honestly. I, I, you know, I was asked on how many rounds I think this fight will go, and I said maybe 30 seconds. 30 seconds has passed, so he's doing pretty well for himself at the moment. Ruiz out of San Bernardino, California. Trains out of the Robert Garcia Boxing Watch. Academy. No, 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 don't push him. Watch your head. Partially. He's managed by Robert Garcia, although it's uh, Robert Garcia Jr., Pita, who's in the corner tonight working for Ruiz. Very tall for this weight division yes, at he six is. feet. Yes, he is. Very tall, got a lot of length. You know, what I like about Ruiz is, is that he can fight both ways. He can fight coming forward. He can also fight off the back foot a little bit. And he, you can see that he's constantly staying at a certain range. So that way he can't get any return fire from his opposition. Nice overhand right from Leo Ruiz, who connects on a jab once again. Beautiful hand placement right there from Ruiz, blocking those shots. Deflected him off the gloves. Hands free. Let go. Let go. Stop. Rodrigo Solis coming in here not to just get a paycheck. I mean, he's throwing punches too. He's, he wants to prove that he deserves another shot to fight in the bubble, but he's matched tough tonight against Leo Ruiz. Yeah, he's holding his own right now. You know, using his jab. Got hit with a right hand right there. That's the shot that I see landing. You know, and, and so at least I haven't seen him throw the left hook. He's a re he has a really good, solid left hook that he hasn't thrown yet. Ruiz had three fights scheduled for six rounds. He's been the four up. round distance two times, but never past that. So we'll see if Rodrigo Solis can take him beyond that territory. He says, come on, give me some more. What have you got? You know, when I was speaking to Ruiz in a fighter meeting, he seemed a little bit tensed. You know, this is his first big stage. So, you know, that can do something to a young fighter. You know, it, it, he looks a bit tight to me. You know, he needs to relax a little bit and not and stop trying so hard. You were able to observe the solid defense that Timothy Bradley was pointing out from Leo Ruiz, a soccer player who, even on training camps, he says on Friday night to go out and play a little bit of soccer helps him with his conditioning. Yeah, I, I get that, but you got to be careful. You know, no soccer players, they get a lot of knee injuries. He is tall. And he clips Solis with a nice left hook. Solis going down to the body, gets caught, and then stuck with the jab. Ruiz landing a big overhand right, but Solis showing to have a good chin so far. <laughs> he is showing that he has a good chin. But how long can he keep up this pace right now? You know, Ruiz is going to step up the tempo eventually and get to him. Good stick to the body there from Leo Ruiz. His opponent, Rodrigo Solis, coming off of a loss in Puerto Rico, the only time that he left his native Mexico where he fought his first eight fights. And here you see Leo Ruiz putting it on. Good jab and right hand right there from Ruiz. Throwing the combination at distance. What I liked about that sequence was he didn't fall in. He fell, fell in right there, but he didn't fall in with throwing those combinations. So at least trying to dig to the body. 
Leo Ruiz trying to come back with something of his own. See, this, see, Bernardo, this is what you do when you have a guy that take a fight on the short notice. You want to dig down to his body. You know his condition is not up to par. And you can step up to tempo, take chances, but be, respect, be responsible on your defense. And that's what we're seeing right now. Ruiz eventually is going to turn it up, get close, block those shots, and then counter in between. Russell Mora with a warning for low blows there. He said anything above the middle of that strip of black on the trunks is going to be a low blow. And here you see the quick combinations from Leo Ruiz, starting with the jab and then following up with a big right. Watch your hands. Stop. Mm. Good, good, good. Watch your hands. Head yeah, clash right there. You know, Ruiz got to be careful, especially when he's fighting against these shorter guys, you know, coming in behind their head. He needs to learn to get his head. He needs to learn to get his head off to the side. Pick a shoulder. It doesn't matter which shoulder. Pick one. Let him go. Just as he's doing there. One thing you can't deny is the toughness of Solis. So he yeah. looks tough, doesn't he? Doesn't he? The man can take a punch. And he's fighting back. Came off the beach and he's proven to be a tough guy. Hey! And you see Ruiz, he's not rushing his attack. Ruiz is using his jab, which is smart. Walking his man down, constantly putting pressure on him with the offense and just the pressure. So at least right now, he's looking to counter right now. He's looking to counter something over the top of Ruiz when he comes in. Leo Ruiz using the COVID-19 protocols of six feet away, trying to use that social distancing <laughs> behind that jab. And so Lee's just trying to catch him coming in, slipping. Mark, what are they saying in Leo Ruiz's corner? Well, I, I asked Robert Garcia Jr. If Ruiz came out tight, if he was concerned about him, he says, not at all. You know, the other guy is fighting back. I just want him to concentrate on his jab and maintaining his distance. He's a much better fighter from outside. I don't want him to get drawn in. Social distancing here inside the bubble is key, and that's exactly what Robert Garcia Jr. wants out of him. Another low blow there from Ruiz. Happened where Russell Moore couldn't see it. Yeah, but very, very smart instructions right there from Robert Jr., Garcia Jr., you know, he just want his fighter to, you know, be clean in there, you know, use his advantages, use the reach, well, use the ring. up with that lift hook. Coming behind the jab is Leo Ruiz. Well, you know, you know some of his favorite fighters are, you know who they are, you wouldn't even imagine it. But he said, he told us in the fighter meetings that he enjoyed Roy Jones Jr. That's why he was able to develop his, his left hook. That's what he got it from. Yeah, and then he said, technically, I like Loma. I love the meanness of Triple G, the smarts of Roy May of uh, Floyd Mayweather, and then Roy Jones, the lead left hook. So, hey, if you can put that all together in one fighter, that's a hell of a fighter. <laughs> yes, it is. Hey, I'm pretty impressed by Rodrigo Solis, who took this fight on real short notice, and he's in here trying to lay some leather on Leo Ruiz, and, and he knows that he's got to get inside because he's so tall, and, and it's a tall order, but he's in here swinging. Yeah, he's swinging back. Ruiz is kind of letting him off the hook right now and letting him relax. You know, when they get out and when they get out in spots like that, now he's starting to use his jab. That's what he needs to do. Use his jab out at range, then follow up with the combinations. I'm impressed by the defensive responsibility of Leo Ruiz so far in this fight. <laughs> Solis, who took this fight on short notice on Tuesday, and you see in terms of the jabs, 18 more landed for Ruiz compared to Solis. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Once again, that overhand right from Ruiz. You know, it's been the same sequence over and over, and I always tell you guys this, you know, when you're doing the same thing constantly, your opponent gets used to it. Now it's time for the change-up. You know, an uppercut would be beautiful if Ruiz was to throw one. Ruiz with a little, I mean, Solis with a little Ali shuffle. He's uh, trained by his father. 
Mark, what have you got for us from Solis's corner? We know what Ruiz is supposed to be. Less is known about Solis because he got the fight on Tuesday. I asked Brad Goodman, a top-ranked matchmaker, Maker, what's going on here? He goes, this kid's earning himself Stop. a, a shot go. on another card. <laughs> he got the call Tuesday. It's already three rounds right now. We hit four rounds, excuse me. Nice body shot from Ruiz. Let go. Ruiz is solid, steady. Said he's gotten some sparring yes. in there with Virgil Ortiz, one of the best welterweights in the world. So you've got to pick up some stuff from there. You were expecting a little bit more meanness from him, though. Uh, yeah, I was expecting some meanness, but, you know, Solis is not following suit. You know, he's fighting back in spots. He seems to have some heavy hands in there, and he's game. He's a game opponent, and you got to take him seriously. You can't rush in there, and Ruiz knows that. Nice combination from Solis coming right back on Ruiz, who's also been in there with Jose Ramirez. So the quality of sparring that Ruiz has gotten uh, throughout his young career is, is top notch. But Solis says, hey, man, just because I'm out there training on the beach in Cancun mm. doesn't mean I'm soft. <laughs> he's not he's that proving that. He is proving it right now. <laughs> he's having his way in spots. But the mistake that Ru Ruiz is making is, is that he's standing there. He's waiting. He's admiring his work. He gets off, and he stands directly in front of Solis. Hands and it, Solis can't it, miss. He just got to swing back. No, oh, no, no, no. Low blow. Low blow. Low blow. lets it go. That's not a low blow. It's right on the solar plexus from Ruiz. Watch your hands, watch your hands. But you gotta love that. You're gonna hit me, I'm gonna hit you back from Solis. Yes, I love it a lot. You know, but you know, these type of fights, you gotta go through some things, man. This is how you get better. You know, Ruiz is gonna learn a whole heck of a lot about himself and also about his craft going through this type of fight, this type of battle. And once the bell rings to signal the end of round four, this is gonna be the furthest that Ruiz has ever gone in his career. He's never seen the fifth round before. This is good for him. This is the activity I was talking about. So, Leash, you know, you see Ru Ruiz walking straight in, you know, being a little careless with his defense. He had his hands up, but so Leash just unleashing a, a barrage of punches right here. I get And that punch did go down a little bit low right there. The referee was behind Solis, so he did play. We saw immediately, and it was happening in real time as we were talking about it, seeing the replay. The commission saw that, and it was Robert Byrd and uh, I love Bob that. Bennett who immediately jumped on it. You know, I, I love that. I love the fact that they have the, the review, you know, to get things right. You know, if it's a headbutt accidental or whatever it is, they get to see it and review it. The interesting thing is he had just gone over to Reed and said, hey, I know that was a good shot, but that's the beauty of instant replay and the way it's applied it by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. It's instantaneous, and it, it makes the referee watch out the next time, too, and be a lot more careful. So it makes everything better. And the, and, the, and the thing is, is that it's during the rest period. Yes. You know, I remember last time where it was a knockdown in Pedraza fight. Um, and it took about what six minutes or so. That was before a, we got a decision. Bit like two minutes. Oh man! But still, it, 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 he had time. momentum going in yes. his favor, and it gave Le Pierre a chance to recover. So, yes. you know, here it no. happened in between no. rounds, Stop. and Get your head up. hopefully, we continue to evolve. There's going to be an evolution of the replay rules from the Nevada State Athletic Commissions in the upcoming weeks as well, as a basis of what happened that night. You yeah. know, they. It's a continual change, just like the protocols have changed inside the bubble in terms of safety. Nevada State Athletic Commission also evolving in the use and the implementation of instant replay. Nice right hand there wow. from Ruiz. Both threw at the same time, and Ruiz landed just a little bit better. Yeah, and Ruiz, he got his head off the line when he landed that shot. But did you see the small little pause from Solis? He was buzzed just for a split second. If Ruiz would have came up with the follow-up shot, the left hook probably would have hurt him, put him in trouble. Could have done a Brian Lua, his uh, stable mate. Oh, my goodness. That knockout was vicious. Might be able to catch that on SportsCenter Top 10, depending on what happens on a very busy Saturday of sports, college football, NBA, NHL, all kinds of stuff going on. You know, I'm, look, I'm looking at Ruiz, it's the, 
he threw the right hand twice and he hit Solis high on the head. He has to be careful with that. He needs to change. Let's see what we see. What happened here? Low blow? Point deduction. Low blow. One point, low blow. One point, low blow. Told you, go do it. Okay? Okay, come on. And that point deduction has a lot mm -hmm. to do with the fact that the instant replay showed what happened. But here we go. Take a look at the replay, Tim. Mm, no doubt. Yep, definitely was a low blow. Definitely was a low blow. Good call by the ref. And it energizes Ruiz, trying to get that point back. And that's the body work from Ruiz, and then the left hook. Now what? Right there. The mouthpiece came flying Keep out. It was that big left hook. Listen, man, he, he buzzed right him. He buzzed him about 10 seconds ago. Hurt him badly. Back to back up. Let's go. It was action going one on. Point. Typically, the referee would stop the action when, you know, stop. there's a low in the action. And he did. piece. And now one point, point the deduction. Spitting out the mouthpiece. Point deductions offset. I go. He intentionally spit it out. Yes, sir. Yes, he Big left yes, hook sir. right there. Yes, sir. As you can see, the referee said he intentionally spit it out. Let's see. Go spit out your mouthpiece. That's okay. the left hook that I was talking about. That buzz so least. And here's the follow-up crew, but the ref is that's sometimes the, to that's, find that's, a way. Hey, listen, listen that's fight, the smartest thing fight. you can do. You know, a lot. Of, I know a lot of people don't agree with it, but this is the, the hurt business. We can't go back to the dressing rooms if we get injured. You know, you got to find little ways, and that's a veteran way. He's got to find a way to stay away from that left hook that Leo Reese has now found a home for as he connects a beautiful left uppercut once again. I just don't like the balance. I don't like the balance of Solis. Ref needs to step in and stop this action. All right, Solis looks like he's in trouble right now. He's since, in big trouble. Since the end of round five when he got hurt. Solis' his father in the corner says, hey, you got to stand up right. So he's seeing the same thing you're seeing in terms of the lack of balance from his son. Oh, another big left hand from Ruiz. But what a chin, what a heart Solis is showing here. But somebody's got to take care of him. I agree with you, Tim. <laughs> You know what? We can't we can't determine that. He got he got mad heart, man, and mad onions. I can, let me tell you that. He's fighting back, he's taking a beating. And Ruiz right now, he's looking for the perfect shot to end this fight. Oh, there, ooh, that's close to as perfect as you can land. It just goes to show you what a great chin and what a great heart Solis has. But he's not looking good here with a minute and a half left in the final round. Well, the mistake that Ruiz is making is, is that he's not going to the body of Solis. If he goes to the body, then he'll weaken him even more. And he's smothering he himself. Hands down. Six feet tall, has a four-inch reach advantage as well. And yet he wants to be in the trenches with him. Well, he can fight in the inside. That's the beauty. You, you want a taller fighter to be able to fight in the inside just as well on the outside. But isn't he, isn't he better off if he can get full extension on his punches? Well, the shot that he's looking for is the left hook. That's the punch that he's looking for. But if he brought it down the stairs, I think it'll be even more lethal. It'll be buenas noches. Five knockouts and his seven wins for Leo Ruiz. And it could have been six out of eight, but Solis is showing a ton of heart here. Especially considering it took the fight on Tuesday. Ruiz is, 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 <laughs> is showing his conditioning right now. He's throwing a lot of punches. You can see the mouth starting to open just a tad bit. He's wondering how Solis is taking these shots. He's landed over 120 of his nearly 300 punches he's thrown so far in the fight as Leo Ruiz. And Solis able to withstand every single one of them. Wow. Leo Ruiz poured it on there in 
the sixth and final round. But honestly, the ref could have stepped in and stopped the action. But you know what? Solis showed a ton of heart. He was fighting back in spots. And that's the rule, ladies and gentlemen. That's the rule. If you fight back, the referee is not going to stop the action. OK, but you know, Ruiz, he did a great job landing the left hooks like that. Beautiful shots in the inside, in the trenches. I like when the tall fighter can do both two things. When they can fight on the outside, use their stick in their range, and I also like when the taller fighter can actually fight in the inside. And Ruiz can do that. You know, occasionally he will, he would smother. Six rounds here inside MGM Grand. We go to the judges' scorecards for the official decision. Eric Cheek has the bout 58-54. Max DeLuca and Dave Moretti both score the bout 59-53. Declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Leo Ruiz. As expected, Leo Ruiz improves to 8-0.